Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to come in and talk about um, some stuff that came up in our pregnancy and postpartum support group today. So something I see a lot of, and it's really um, about the struggle that new moms have with asking for help from their partners. And then also the frustration that a lot of moms have when their partners don't understand what the mom is actually doing all day. Um, and the conflict, a lot of conflict that happens around this. Um, so there's a lot of aspects to cover in this specific topic, but um, you know, for instance, communication issues, um, challenges around who does what, um, when a baby comes home, um, the change in priorities in the family, the focus on the baby, not as much so on the relationship, if not at all on the relationship. Um, but something that I notice that happens quite often that really, really impacts um, mom and her her sense of depression or anxiety is around asking for help or and or telling their partner really how they're actually really feeling and why she needs help not that this she shouldn't be getting help anyways but um more specifically this the challenge that i uh we discussed quite a bit today was that feeling of like well when the mom is at home all day with baby, taking care of a million and two different little things, sometimes big things, um, and partner comes home and um, mom really, really, really needs a break or needs some rest and the partner doesn't totally get it um, and maybe goes on with kind of life as they've always known it without um, pitching in and helping. So a couple of things happen here. Um, one of the specific things that we discussed today was that sense, that feeling of anxiety that some moms get where, um, well, if I, I've asked so-and-so to help out, but it doesn't get done, and then I end up having to do it anyways, or they do help out and it's just, it's not done well and I have to redo it. So I might as well just take care of it anyways. I might as well just do it myself. And then um, shortly, or maybe over some time, um, mom stops asking for help at all. And the partner stops helping because mom always does it anyways. So, I mean, in this dynamic, moms get resentful um, that they're not getting the help that they need. But also it becomes increasingly more difficult to ask for the help. Um, and their own level and sense of anxiety is... It also increases because now not only do they have to do everything all of the time, but if they actually really do need the help, is their partner going to be able to help um, in the way that, that the mom needs? Now, I'll say a couple of things. Um, um, moms, your partner will not be able to do everything the way that you do it. Sometimes you really are the best person at what it is you're doing. You've been through the trial and error. You've been doing this for months on end. Um, yep, you do change that diaper the best or you do take care of get the baby to sleep um, in the best way. Um, but something happens when um, one person in a relationship starts to kind of do every bit of one thing um, is that the other partner oftentimes stops um, or doesn't feel the need to or doesn't see the need to because it's already being taken care of. The other side of this is that uh, once somebody's used to not doing something, um, it's not in their awareness that they should be asking, um, do you need help with X, Y, or Z, or can I help with these things? Um, and they be, maybe become reliant or dependent on the mother or the caregiver, primary caregiver to be doing those things. So you can see that this can get really challenging, and sometimes very quickly. Uh, and sometimes this just erodes over time, then resentment builds up and anger builds up. <laughs> so what I'd like to suggest is, if you can, um, have a discussion, even before the baby comes or wh at whatever point the baby is there, that things are different now and things need to be addressed in a different way. And that you guys as a team, as a partnership, um, can figure that out together. And there may be some times where um, the, the primary caregiver, the mom in, in a lot of cases is 
is taking care of a lot of lot of little details throughout the day. Um, but there and there are maybe things that their partner doesn't even know that they're doing. Um, so on one hand, mom, if possible, like think about what do you really need, really, really need help with? Is it sleep? Um, do you need somebody to clean uh, so that you don't have to um, do that on top of all the things that you're already doing? Do you need your partner to be responsible for dinner um, and making that um, meal for you guys? Um, you know, independent of what you think your partner can or can't do, what do you really think your needs are? What do you think would really be helpful for you? And then partners, um, it's not a vacation. It's really not a vacation uh, or time off to be taking care of a newborn and a baby. It's a lot of hard work and it's 24 seven. It's not a job that they go to and come home. Um, oftentimes it can feel like they're doing three and four shifts of a single job in a day. Um, <clears throat> and very specifically, even nighttime can feel like a whole other shift where the mom is totally alone or feels alone and is having to take care of things on her own. Um, so partners, I really urge you to think um, you know, about what your partner might need, what could be helpful. The ultimate reality is that the more that you can help each other, the more that the partner can help the mom um, and doing things around the house and the more that mom can ask for the things that she needs help with, um, the, the more you can communicate around this stuff, uh, the more likely this transition will be just a bit smoother. It's a really hard change. Um, and um, staying connected and staying together and thinking for each other, thinking about each other and what would be helpful in your process through the transition into parenthood and whatever form that means for you um, can really help support the relationship. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys think, see if you have any experiences that are similar to this. Um, certainly we could talk about this particular topic and any number of topics all day. I'm just giving a real snapshot onto a couple of things that I see pretty often, but I'd love to hear your feedback.